Ladies and gentlemen, Happy New Year and welcome to my humble garage. Signore e signori, auguri di buon anno e benvenuti nel mio garage. I am Mike and today I would like to show you how to update the firmware of the EV300 O's. These are branded Eachine, but are actually produced by Skyzone. In fact, Skyzone sells these as the SX04. So back in 2018, when I got into FPV, the first set of goggles I purchased were the EV800D and to this date I believe that these are the best set of box goggles that money can buy. In fact, for my uh, extremely long range flights I will always use these on a tripod as you know like a safety second uh, visor always ready in case my uh, daily driver for some strange reason gives up on me while I'm flying I can rely on these and the beauty of uh, this box goggle here is that not only does it have true diversity so there are actually two modules there's one module for each antenna but the greatest aspect of this box goggle is that you can remove this piece and set it on your tripod and use it like this. Fantastic. Here are the Ahomway Commanders. Now I really like these goggles. They have been extremely reliable. I've had these for uh, almost two years now. And as you can see they are heavily modified because I was having issues. Uh, I was actually seeing double. If you want to know how I solved that problem go ahead and check out my uh, other video called FPV Diplopia. As you can see I am using the um, bay, the uh, external bay from Skyzone with the Achilles module which has served me quite well. And then here we have the EV100 or what is left of these. As you can see I uh, decided to print the you can find this on Thingiverse I believe it's called EV150 and um, I definitely don't recommend purchasing these uh, goggles for a lot of different reasons but uh, mainly because the FOV is extremely small I believe it's uh, 28 degrees and uh, when you look when you fly with these on it feels as if you were sitting way back in the theater like when you go to the movies and you're sitting all the way in the back you can barely see anything so stay away from these but today I'd like to show you what uh, I got myself for Christmas these are the EV 300 O's by Eachin they're branded Eachin but they're actually produced by Skyzone in fact Skyzone sells these as the SX04 and if you are budget-minded like me, there is no better analog goggle out there than these. And why is that? Well, the uh, uh, Rapid Mix module is as good, if not better, than the uh, Immersion RC Rapid Fire. And uh, you have OLED uh, display. The uh, IPD adjustment is... Uh, quite impressive. You also are able to adjust the focal distance uh, plus 6 to minus 6 which is amazing. So the other day I uh, went ahead and updated uh, this set of goggles to the latest firmware and I ran into a problem because there's a bit of misleading information uh, on the internet. So I'd like to show you how to properly update the firmware. In fact you will see that there are uh, two files and these two files are called app A and app B and both of these files are only to update the goggles there is no update for the DVR not yet at least and this I was told by Daniel from Skyzone 
and I thank Daniel for his assistance. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to do that. There is a uh, uh, there is an update for the Rapid uh, Mix module. So if you want to go ahead, we can do that also. So let's get on with it. Okay, so first things first, let's go get our firmwares. Let's try the SkyZone website first. Scroll down to Sky04X firmware. Save it. Let's have a look at the zip file. And inside we'll have app A and B. Both of these are for the goggles. You can see the version is 1.3.4 and version 0 0.03. And they are both dated uh, 18th of December. So let's have a look at Yashin's website. And here we have two files. So this is where it gets a bit confusing. In the first file, save it, open it. You have both A and B files. These are dated also on the 18th of December. So everything's looking good. Now if we go and open the other firmware, the EB3000 firmware, when you open it, this is what you see. There's a file called EB300. And inside it, app A and app B are older. These are dated 20th of November, so we're not going to be using these. But in case you want to update the um, Rapid Mix module, you can do so by using this file here. We can start downloading our firmwares. USB Type C. And uh, what we're going to do is we will power on the goggle. We will power on the goggles. And while powering on the goggles, we will keep the left scroll bar pressed. Keep this pressed. All right, let's connect our power source. Keep the left scroll button pressed. Turn on our goggles. We can now release the scroll wheel. And this page opens up. All we have to do now is take our files and drop them in here. Simple as that. Copy these. Now we wait. We have successfully downloaded the A and B apps for the goggles. Now disconnect properly. Not really necessary, but never know. Let's remove the Rapid Mix module 
from the goggles. Very gently. And now, all we have to do is hold the uh, bootloader button pressed as we insert the USB cable. So, keep that pressed, insert the USB cable, and release. And again, a window will open up and we will insert the Rapid Mix firmware in here. Copy and paste. Boom, that's it, we're done. So let's click on the top right button. Click again. Here we have our system menu. Okay, now with the scroll wheel, let's go down to system. And all the way down to firmware version and there is our firmware version click again and return thank you for watching this video right to the end I just like to show you a quick tip if you want to make sure that your focal adjustment stays put, stick some thin strips of paper right there in order to avoid the wheel from moving. And uh, if you like this video, subscribe, like, dislike, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy landings! Ciao a tutti, alla prossima, bye bye.